Alright, what is up guys? It's your boy Will, back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. Now in this video, I will be talking about AMC Entertainment Holdings, ticker symbol AMC, and GameStop Corporation, ticker symbol GME. I'll be going over some key levels I'm looking at, buying levels, support levels, and resistance levels on both of these stocks. I am holding one stock, and I have not sold the stock. I don't plan on selling anytime soon. And the other stock, I do plan on scalping. Okay, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get the video over 50 likes. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, turn your post notifications so you don't miss any updates. I do post every day in the markets, right? I try to help you guys the best way I can to give you the best levels, okay? So I hope you guys appreciate that. Now, before we start, make sure you guys use Will Half Off to get 50% off the stock market options crash course because those prices are going up Monday. And also 50% off is done on Monday, okay? So Will Half Off, stock market options crash course, you get 50% off as a thank you for all the love on the channel now first stock we'll be talking about is amc amc has two resistance levels still okay this resistance level right here around 4850 is still a resistance level but what we're going to do is i see a resistance level closer okay so what we're going to do is we're going to move this resistance level to around 47 dollars because that's the resistance level i see now kind of closer to price so we all we always like our levels close to where price is currently so around 47 dollars i am looking for a resistance now um after that 48 level was hit so after it got right there at that 48 level and it dropped that 47 level is a new resistance level that i'm actually looking at now and now we had an old buying level right here around 43 dollars look how that reacted today came down the low of this candle will, will come right here the low candle came $43.05. A so level I gave you guys $43. Came close to that level, start going higher. The only thing is it was close to the end of the day. And also it wasn't enough pressure, right? Because this right here would have been your entry. But it's something key that I teach you guys on day trading that you want to look for. And this did not show it. Okay. So that was not an entry. That's also in the stock market options crash course of what I teach you. So that was not an entry. The level can still hit okay but i'm actually gonna leave that level there okay so 43 dollars. i'm gonna leave that level there the only new level we added today was a resistance level around 47 dollars, and this level is still the same around 43 dollars. this is why i'm looking to potentially buy some more shares of amc it really just depends on how it moves between 43 and 42. so in that area i'm kind of looking to see how amc moves if i start seeing some pressure of buying then i will go ahead and buy but in this area is what i'm looking at to potentially buy more shares okay because we bought in here so i didn't want to buy at high prices good thing we didn't because you see that pullback coming back down so in here i am looking to buy some more between 42 and 43 for amc next one oh, and also on amc is the one i'm holding long term i have not sold amc at all gme ticker symbol gme for gamestop corporation is the one that i plan on scalping okay I like AMC a little bit more than GME. Now, if I start seeing some strength in GME, then I'll hold it. But for right now, I am looking to scalp. My ultimate exit is around 260, okay, up here. Uh, let me go to the hourly chart just so you can see it real quick. Up here, okay, two, actually 255. 255 is my ultimate exit target. Okay, so let's go back down to the 30-minute chart. Okay, zoom in. So... This buying level I gave you guys right here was at 209. Kind of did the same thing, but GME actually hit it. So it came down, hit it, and there goes your move, right? But kind of later in the day, again, didn't really give a clear entry in here at all. So didn't enter off that, but that was a nice little buying move off that level I gave you guys around $2.09. Hit it perfectly, and then went higher. So I will be changing this level, actually. So we're going to take that level off because it did hit now. Um, let me go back to the 90 day, 30 minute chart. So every candlestick is 30 minutes. New level that I'm looking at for some resistance is around 224.70. Uh, let me type it in. 224.70 is a level I'm starting to look at for some resistance. So watch that level just in case it comes back up. It might show a little selling pressure for another entry. So that's the first level you want to be watching. Second level I'll be watching for buying is around 206. So in that area, type this in, 
in that area I'll be looking for some buying pressure to actually get a entry for a scout play around that 206 level now if I do get that uh, potential buying pressure around that 206 level I'll be scalping to 225 which is about a 9% return okay so that's a potential scalp play that I see if we get that buying pressure right here on that 206 level. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed the video, always remember, not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. That's for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.